big companies which own the fleet of hundreds of tankers exported Russian oil from Primorsk, Ursluga and Novorossiysk. Overall, about 10 million tons a month or 2.4 million barrels a day. After the US and EU imposed sanctions on the Russian oil suppliers, Greece became a transshipment center for Federation crude. According to Argus Media, in July 2023, Greek companies cut back on Russian oil supplies. And in November 2023, as Reuters writes with reference to traders, they rejected applications for ships to load Russian energy resources. The Greek shippers' exit from the trade followed tighter U.S. sanctions imposed on Russian oil shipments from a publication in Reuters. In October 2023, the U.S. imposed sanctions on tanker owners from Turkey and the United Arab Emirates. On November 16, the U.S. Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Assets Control announced restrictions on three companies, which, according to Reuters, are based in the UAE, and three vessels owned by these companies. The reason is the transportation of Russian oil at a price exceeding $60 per barrel. In addition, the agency has sent notices to 30 shippers. They are suspected of transporting oil at a price higher than a cap. We are committed to maintaining market stability in spite of Russia's war against Ukraine, while cutting into the profits the Kremlin is using to fund its illegal war and remaining unyielding in our pursuit of those facilitating evasion of the price cap. Wally Adeyemo, United States Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, from a statement on the U.S. State Department website. According to traders and shipping companies, Russia is currently using many little-known companies registered in the United Arab Emirates, India, Hong Kong, Seychelles, Ghana and other countries to transport oil. Tankers of the Russian shadow fleet fly the flags of various states. While we can track the vessel's journey from Russia to Singapore unless we have the sales contract, we do not know the price the oil product was purchased for. It is possible that someone filed false paperwork with the ship owner. This is why tracking the Russian oil sanctions is not straightforward. Andrew Lipo, expert on trade and export of petroleum products, in a comment to CNBC. According to traders, Russia is experiencing significant difficulties in exporting oil and oil products because of the sanctions. The processes has become much more risky, expensive and complicated. For example, oil to China is now being delivered in 8 to 10 weeks. Before the sanctions were imposed, the journey took just two. Meanwhile, the deliveries to India have stopped completely. Since the imposition of Western sanctions, Moscow and New Delhi have been facing a serious problem over payment in currencies other than dollar. India insists on paying in rupees. Moscow disagrees with that. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Kristina Dombrovska, UATV News.